In Washington, the Beaufort County school system is applying for a $42 million grant. It could bring a new school to the district in the next few years. Nine on your side's Erin Jenkins spoke with school officials today about this application, and she's joining us now in our newsroom. So, Erin, what are the details on this? Well, Angie, it's an idea that's been bounced around the county for the last few years. They applied today for a North Carolina needs based public school building grant. If approved, the money would go toward building a new school, combining the students from Eastern Elementary and John Cotton Taylor Elementary. Both elementary schools were built in the 1960s. Eastern Elementary teaches pre-K through first grade students, while John Cotton Taylor teaches second and third graders. You're leaving schools so many times and transitioning to new administration, new counselors. That's very hard for young children. A new combined school would be a space for 900 to 1,000 Beaufort County students to all be under one roof. If all is approved, it would be here in this lot behind the current Eastern Elementary. The new building, along with all of the furniture and technology inside, would cost about $52 million. Tuesday night, Beaufort County Board of Education approved for the school district to apply for a $42 million grant from the North Carolina Department of Instruction. The other $10 million would come from the county. Commissioners approved to provide the funding in their December 4th meeting. Your options are you could pay cash, you could finance, however you want to do it. There's, there's, uh, you have sufficient fund balance to write a check tomorrow. Beaufort County okay. Schools Superintendent Matthew Cheeseman says a new school could provide a safer learning environment. To have to walk out of one building to go to another building and put your jacket on just to maybe even go use the bathroom at times, or go see a nurse or go to the office and. You know, there's a little bit of insecurity in that, so to have teachers and educators feel safe and secure, number one, but also to be in a learning environment that's innovative to today's date versus 60 years ago. The school system should find out if this application is approved in either April or May. From there, they would start finishing up the details for the new school with the hope of opening it in August of 2026. In the newsroom, Aaron Jenkins, 9 on your side. Aaron, thanks.